Hey everybody, AmpReparGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com, please like, share, and subscribe. So we have a Drake L4B, really clean, and for repair, I'm going to ground the grids, do everything I normally do to them. Needs a Harbach filter cap board kit and power supply, I'll also replace those two resistors from 50k to 100k, so they run a lot cooler. And... Uh, also replace the two print receptacle with an RCA type. Here's the cap, put a meter protection diodes. I'll flip it over, be right back. Okay, so Peller's in good shape. The air variable capacitor on the plate side. Great shape. So Parasitic expressors look good. I'm going to change the meter lamp bulbs, clean the rotary switch for the output, the band switch, also the input rotary switch. Needs new tubes. One has a day code of 1978. The other one, a day code of 1972. One is missing the bottom phenolic piece. One has it. The writing is much darker on one versus the other, so yeah, it needs new tubes. They are not going to run balanced. So it'll get a brand new set of Pentalab tubes. Awesome, awesome company. SO239s are nice and tight, so I don't have to mess with those. I'll also put a new 5K resistor in the power supply. Also, I always change that out. And it needs a new plug on the cord. This one's messed up. So. Uh, when I get this done, I'm not, I don't have the resistors today, so I'm going to order those. But these ones, if they're in good shape to fire it up, I will after I do everything else. And I'm going to show you guys the Amprex tubes working. Okay? A lot of people want to see them working. So, okay. so stay tuned. I'll see you guys in a bit. 73 for now. Please like, share, and subscribe. RF deck is all set. I'll show you that after. See the old caps. These resistors look like they're in good enough condition to use for the Amperex test, but I will replace them with 100K 50 watt resistors so they run cooler. Okay, so I'm gonna eat lunch since it's um, 1220 here. Then I'll put the Harbach board together and install it. I'll also replace the Resistor down here. Where is it? Right, right here. So, see you soon. Stay tuned. So, I'm back with the completed L4B. I'm going to do a test video, but before I put the supply back together, I want to show what I did. I'm not taking it apart again. So, put the Harbach filter cap board kit in. I assembled it and installed it. I always change these two resistors from 50k over 200k so they run a lot cooler. Uh, they put the tubes in a cutoff and they still put them into deep enough cutoff so they're completely biased off. So these resistors aren't cheap. I uh, bought them from DigiKey uh, with shipping for the pair. They're about 60, 60 something bucks boxes, the old ones, the old filter caps. I'm going to throw all this out. I've been keeping my bench nice and clean. Um, my voltage wires also replace the wires. And I don't put them up under here because if someone put a longer screw in, it could pierce the wire. So I also replaced the resistor down below. The 10 watt 5K. Everything's good down here. Added some zip ties also. Piece of solder stuck right here. Okay, so put a new plug on. I don't know if this was the original or not, but it was in bad shape. So, so I always open up the plug to check. So one of the hots was almost touching ground and the ground screw was stripped. So new plug. It had a little plastic thing over it, but I took that off. But you can see it's all cracked. So this is like six dollars. I don't 
skimp on anything, you know, that could cause a fire, could electrocute somebody, you know, so you just, everything has to be done right. Okay, so, put the cover on and hook it all back up, and customer wants to show it working on 20, then I'll take the um, RF deck apart again and show you everything I did. So see you soon, stay tuned. Okay, so we're back with the completed L4B. I'm gonna show it working on 20 meters. Here are the settings. Okay, so it's on the lower voltage, CW slash tune. Radio set to roughly 90 watts or so. 2500 watt slug. So that's 500, 1000, be 1250 between the 10 and the 15. And that'd be 15, 2000, 2500. Okay, so I'll bring it up to about 1250. It's on the lower voltage setting right now, so it's going to do less than that. Audio hello, audio hello, 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 hello. Just under a kilowatt right there, just under a kilowatt. Hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, 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 hello. Great current on the bottom. 3000 watt forward. Audio hello, hello, hello. Audio hello, hello. Reflect. Audio. Okay, so. Put on that. Put it on the higher voltage setting. High voltage. Audio hello, audio hello, 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 a little over 1250 right there. Ta 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 I will let the tubes cool off for a sec and then unplug it, pull the cover off, and show you what I did. So, see you soon. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we have the top of the RF deck, the inside of the top. Replace the meter lamp bulbs. Let's see everything here. I cleaned the, the output rotary switch with deoxygold, gold, tightened up on hardware, inspected everything. See the pretty. Amperex, Pentalab Amperex is in here. They're pretty work. They just work great. Just awesome tubes. Okay, so I need to let them cool off. I can't touch them yet. I put the clip on the oops, top side here. So the high voltage crowbar interlock works properly. Never disable that. That will save your life if you make a mistake. If you had it on by accident, it'll put a hard short on the plate supply, or if a bladder resistor were open, it'll bring it right to ground. Okay, so, um, I'll be back soon. Stay tuned. Oh, one thing I want to say. Okay, so, I have batteries in my bird meter for the genuine PP kit. Every once in a while, I'll forget to shut it off. I disable the LED, which helps stop the batteries from going dead like right away if I leave it on. But um, they'll still eventually go dead if you leave it on. So after leaving on, forgetting to shut it off, you know, over and over again, over time, you know, the batteries they they drain, and uh, so when that happens, take note. It'll have a, it won't end up going to full scale on PEP. Like let's say you're trying to read a thousand or more watts with a thousand watt slug, it's not gonna get to a kilowatt. So I had to go down to the hardware store, I got two new batteries. Uh, one read like six point eight, the other one was like seven volts, so replaced them, and now they're good. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to uh, like I said, let this cool off and I'll be back uh, soon. Okay, so here's the bottom. I grounded each grid connection directly to ground. Changed the cap over here. Check the SO239s, obviously. Clean the TR slash bias contacts on the relay here. Put in clamping diodes. 
between the B negative and ground, reverse connected. And that's about, uh, about it. Oh, one last thing. You always want to check. Oh, wait, there's one other thing, too. Um, the foam was, like, deteriorated. This actually seals between the bottom cover, basically lower pushes downwards to pressurize this area so the air is forced up through the opening between the socket and the chassis goes up around the tube and the chimney so that gasket material seals this off so it stops the air from just flowing over to the other side because that's a little bit lower. So, it's very important that you take care of that. Okay, so one other thing. I added the RCA connector. No new holes. There are no new holes in this. I reused the old holes and um, for the great connections. Except for one hole right here for this for the last one. Um, cut a piece of copper. I punch two holes and then drill the hole for the RCA connection. So I reinstall the diode and the cap. And I gave the I'm giving the old one back. I have it in the bag. So if you ever wanted to reinstall it, he has it and it'll go right back in. Okay, so that's about it. Thank you for watching. I have Harbach orders need to pack and get out, and I have more amps waiting for me at FedEx, so I have to go get them. So, hope everyone has a great day. Hope everyone had a great weekend. So, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. AmpRepairGuy.com, also HarbachElectronics.com, 203 892 4119. Again, the pack and ship info is right on the site. If you meet the criteria on that page, feel free to just send it in and then send me the tracking number. And all Harbach orders go out within anything, usually within a business day, as long as I have it in stock. Well, if you can add the item to the cart, then it then it's in stock. Unless someone bought a whole bunch of them the night before. That's the only time I've ever been out. But it's only happened a few times. And there was no, an, an extra day or so. Wait. But. So. 99.99% .99 of the time. Everything goes out. Either same day. Or within one business day. So. Again. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. 73. I wanted to add one last thing. This is how I recommend shipping them. Always take a piece of cardboard, cut it in a square, and put it over the impeller. You also want to make sure the impeller is okay before you send it. The impeller is very delicate, and you don't. it's so easy for someone to stick their hand in here and break it. So, piece of cardboard, tape across it to protect it. Okay. See you guys later. 73.